Uh, the paper we are going to read is a direct and configurational paths of knowledge oriented leadership, entrepreneurial orientation and knowledge management processes to project success. Now, as we know, every paper starts with an abstract and uh, this is what we call the summary of a paper. So it has got a purpose, design methodology findings and why this research is original research. So the first and most important thing in a paper and according to my knowledge, this is something that the reviewer or rather the handling editor looks at um, the word go. If you submit a paper, this is the first thing that uh, the handling editor looks into. Now this is where you create your impression. This is where you tell your editor that this paper is worth it. And once he or she approves of this introduction that yes, this paper has got those necessary ingredients to be published, this paper goes through the review process. And in my experience, if a paper goes through the review process, more often than not, it is accepted. Like it gets reviews and then you can change the things that are suggested by the reviewer and then the paper is accepted. So this is the most important thing. And one has to focus a lot on these things. Now, the first thing that whenever you are writing an introduction, the first paragraph or first two paragraphs, they are based on value of research or rather the value of the topic. So you start with emphasizing on the importance of the topic. Why this topic is worthy enough to be studied? Why is this topic important in the field of management? Now, in this case, the focus is on knowledge related areas. Knowledge oriented leadership, entrepreneurial orientation and knowledge management processes. So in this paper, what we have done is we started with knowledge. So if we read through the first paragraph, we will find out that this paragraph talks, talks about why knowledge is important or why knowledge in management is important for an organization. Now it starts with to achieve competitive advantage firms needs to combine and deploy several firm level resources and capabilities. Knowledge has been identified as one of the key resources that help improve the human capital for different types of organization. Now, you see these two sentences, these are not separate sentences. Rather, this sentence here, first sentence, is complemented by this second sentence here. On one hand, you are saying that organizations, if they want to compete and if they want to be successful, if they want to achieve competitive advantage, they have to have resources and capabilities. And then there is a sentence, a reference, as to knowledge is a critical resource and further knowledge management is seen as the management processes is seen as the management processes and activities that organization practices to improve the effectiveness of generating creating and sustaining organizational intellectual assets so assets obviously these are resources so knowledge management is one of those aspects within the organization that helps you improve your organizational intellectual assets. So in this single paragraph, you have talked about why knowledge is important for an organization in the modern world. So you start your paragraph with the concept from your paper or the, the construct from your paper that is critical. One that actually has more gaps one where more or less all gaps are revolving around so my gaps in this paper are revolving around knowledge management so that's why i have started with knowledge management the next paragraph it complements the first paragraph but it is more precise and more focused so km enablers and km processes are described as km capability KM enablers include factors like culture, leaders, leadership, intellectual capital that enable KM processes. On the other hand, KM processes include acquisition, creation, sharing, utilization, 
that foster competitive advantage. KM is inevitable for project-based organization. Organization, sorry. And Hensik and others have noted that project-based organizations are facing the challenge of identifying project-related knowledge asset that what they possess. They also confront challenges to identify how they can improve project success. Now, what is happening is now you are using knowledge to link it to your other variables or other concepts. So you just you just link your variables in your introduction and create a story for the reader to get interested in. So now the first thing that you did was you linked, you identified knowledge management, why it's important. Second thing, you identified that knowledge management by itself is nothing if there are no enablers of knowledge management. And further, you linked knowledge with project success. Now, research has asked for identification of different factors. Now, once you have identified the value of your topics, the importance of the concepts in your study, and you have tried to link them with each other, the next step is identifying the existing research in the area. So what is the existing research? Research has asked for identification of different factors that can be critical to project or success of the project. Existing literature has identified several gaps pertinent to the role of KM enablers. These are the two enablers that are been taken that have been taken in this study, KM processes and PS that shall be addressed. So these are the three critical aspects of this research. These are the three constructs you can say, these are the three factors, these are the three, uh, what do you call it, like uh, uh, the, the, the factors that combine to create the theoretical model in this study. So one needs to focus on these aspects. So what are the gaps related to these aspects? The next important thing is identifying the gaps related to these aspects. Now, what you do is, in the form of points like first, second, third, you identify the gaps related to these three building blocks of your model. This is the word that I wanted to use earlier. So, what are the building blocks of your model? KM enablers, KM processes and project success. So, these three building blocks, what are the gaps related to these three building blocks? First gap, much attention in the entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship literature has been on organizational performance. So when you say that, okay, there, the existing literature has focused on organizational performance pertinent to entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship literature, you need to provide reference for your argument. This is a claim that you are making. So whenever you are making a claim, you need a reference. So this is a reference. However, very few studies assess the relationship between entrepreneurship and project success. This is the reference. Cura. So, Mortis. Sorry, I clicked the link. Just let me go back up. So, Mortis et al and others 2015 assessed the impact of entrepreneurial orientation on project management maturity and found a positive relationship. More recently, Martins and others 2018 in the first is in the first attempt to ascertain the direct impact of EO on PS found a significant relationship. So there has been very little research. So when you are saying that there is little, little research, you need to explain that little research. And this is what we have done here. Moving on, now the second point. To the best of author's knowledge, with the search of Web of Science, there is only one research that has included the variables knowledge leadership and PS in a single study. And that was done by Yang. And what they did was, they did not assess the impact of knowledge-oriented leadership on project performance. Rather, they assessed the impact of knowledge-oriented leadership on customer knowledge management. Hence, our study will be the first one to assess the impact of knowledge-oriented leadership on project success. So now you have proven to the reviewer that this is something that has not been done before. 
this creates interest in the reviewer in the editor and you get you, you 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 will get that nod that you are looking for so that your paper goes into the review process and you get positive reviews now how am i sure that this is one of the first paper because web of science is the most reputed database for the journals or all the journals in those reputed databases are actually listed in web of science so if you are giving a reference of web of science every editor can go on to web of science and check this claim if our claim is wrong they will reject the paper the reviewer can go and check and if our claim is wrong the paper can be rejected so this is a very big claim that we make but we make it with a reference we make it with a proof now third came processes in particular that is knowledge sharing has captured a greater part of scholarly attention like majority of the scholars have focused on knowledge sharing with respect to km processes while other processes have not been studied in that detail the role of eo has been or entrepreneurial orientation has been assessed as a predictor of limited number of km processes such as knowledge utilization knowledge sharing knowledge creation so there have been only three studies that have linked entrepreneurial orientation with these knowledge management processes but there are other knowledge management processes as well those have not been taken into account additionally entrepreneurial orientation literature linkage to knowledge related activities in the organization has attracted much less scholarship this is a very latest reference so with reference i am saying that there is a need for further research hence in the present study there there are we we have taken many in many came processes identification creation collection organizing storage sharing application how do you find these references this is an important point you search these databases you search for the the constructs that you are using you search them in like in togetherness like you search entrepreneurial orientation with km processes you come across a few papers look what they have studied find out what variables they have taken into account what constructs they have taken into account what dimensions they have taken into account now when i searched i only found these papers these three papers with entrepreneurial orientation but there are other knowledge management processes as well so i included other knowledge management processes as well fourth kol is still a new concept and according to shamim and others it's a very new concept it's still in its infancy donate and de pablo assess the impact of kol on four km processes and have and have addressed or stressed the necessity to carry out additional research that how kol can improve km processes additionally there is significantly limited research on the impact of leadership on knowledge management practices again i read a paper on leadership and knowledge management practices and found out that bavick says that there is very very little research further existing research has evaluated the impact of limited number of km processes on project success and this this is the reference now what you need to do is how will you get these references you will get these references only and only if you read as much as latest research as possible on the concepts that you are studying the more you read the concepts that you are studying that are the building blocks of your model the more you will get these gaps moving on project success can be affected by a number of different factors and a combination of different factors can enhance the chances of project success however prior research has relied primarily on symmetrical correlational methods to provide general information about the factors that affect ps this is the methodological contribution of this paper now since i have used fsqca as a technique in this paper i searched for whether fsqca has been used with project success and i could not find many papers that have used fsqca with these uh, this project success the construct of project success now the crux of the matter is the summary is read as much as latest research as possible 
if you've got three variables in your study, entrepreneurial orientation, knowledge management processes, project success, read, read on ev every single one of them. You will identify the gaps. You might identify the new constructs in your study. And this will improve your model a lot. That is the reason that I strongly emphasize that students and scholars read as much as possible before they finalize their model. They can have one factor in mind. Okay, yes, I want to work on entrepreneurial orientation. It's a good idea. Now work on entrepreneurial orientation. Search what is available on, on entrepreneurial orientation. What existing research has recommended. And after reading, reading, you will come up with your own concepts that you might need to include in the model. You will come up with your own gaps as well. So the thing is, if you want to publish, you have to read, read and read. This is very important.